Well, hello there, people with the internet and hello again, I'm Nibir Multi. Welcome to part uh, 22 of my Civ City Rome Let's Play series. In the previous episodes, we did um, this economic mission, Stoby, where we had to attain 50 Empire points without actually having any requests, but it was in the end a pretty easy um, mission. So right now... We're doing the other one that I just downloaded, 20 Palace, and the name would probably suggest that we actually have to build 20 palaces, which is interesting. Londinium has been converted to Roman territory. With your expertise in trade, turn this city into a trade capital and build 20 palaces to house your elite taxpayers. Your elites must also hold 15 debates at the Senate's meetings, while your tea teammates i will i read teammates for some reason while your teachers holds 200 classes just don't let your barber shave 100 beards before you have completed the win conditions okay so we have so we need to hold 200 classes 15 debates in the senate build 20 palaces and we lose if 100 beards are shaved for some reason okay that's interesting because of course we need we need the barber in order to get you know in order to um uh upgrade to a palace so i guess the trick is to do these two and then build barbershops and then upgrade them all and of course your pale governor where shall we site our new town center? And of course, we need to research the razor so that um, barber needs are reduced. Okay, there's lots of stone. Here's a little bit of ocean with some fish. Also, I've done a bit of a, a bit of um, well. You could, you could hardly call it coding, but I've done a bit of editing of the game files between this episode and the last. Um, primarily, I have fixed that weird thing with the Senate where there was a banker in there, which is a uh, character that was cut from the game and uh, it was glitched in the previous episode. So I fixed that. So this, so if we take a look here. You see, now there no longer is a banker down there, because you see the professions down there. There's no longer a banker here, so that's good. I've done the same thing with the lighthouse, because there were people working at the lighthouse. That doesn't that, that, that doesn't make any sense either. Uh, I have added these people to the Pantheon. I already did that prior, but there are four priests. Usually the, the, pan, the, the Pantheon is empty, but now when you build it, there are four priests here. Uh, I've already done this, but I never actually pointed it out to you guys. And also, I have added, edited the olive oil press. I'm very slowly getting to grips with how you edit the game files, but I have uh, increased uh, the needs with uh, 60 ticks. And what that means is um, there's a countdown for every household when they consume a little bit of their goods. So there's like a countdown for when they eat their meat and what uh, and you know and whatnot. Um, and I've governor, increased the uh, new town I've increased the time it takes for people to use olive oil. So essentially, they use less olive oil now because there are longer gaps in between when they use it. So uh, it's a minor edit. I added sixty ticks, which is one and a half seconds, by the way. So it takes people one, one and a half seconds longer to consume olive oil than usual. So in theory we should end up with more olive oil, but I don't know how much it will affect it. So we will see it in this uh, playthrough. Since of course I need... Uh, what's it called? I need... Um, Governor, to build palaces in, city. in this uh, mission. So another interesting thing... Uh, in just the fact that we have to build palaces. Um, city happiness is rising. Oh, good. Oh, city happiness was falling, apparently. I didn't even know that. Um, but yeah, another interesting thing about the fact that we have to build uh, 20 palaces. 
in order to soldiers grumble that Mithras will not watch over them in battle as we do not honor him with a temple oh I'm sorry I will build a temple to Mithras very soon but yeah but what I wanted to say before I got interrupted a whole bunch um, what is interesting about the fact that we have to build 20 palaces is in order to upgrade a villa to a palace you need to build um, oh yeah, and yeah, I totally know I could have just done a small aqueduct without uh, and make it very cheap, but I like the aesthetic of a longer aqueduct. I think it looks very nice. Um, but the the thing about having a um, upgrading a villa to a palace is you need to get those people to the senate. The gods must surely look down on our disrespectful city in despair. You need to build a senate building, and then the people from the villa have to go to the senate, and then will they upgrade. However, you're only allowed to build one senate building in the entire map. And we have to build 20 palaces. So we essentially have to accumulate all palaces around that uh, senate building. Um, so yeah, that, that'll be interesting. Also the map, I haven't really commented much on it, but yeah, lots of stone. There's a little river here with some uh, fish in it, so that's good. Hail, governor. What would you like to research next? All right, let's get this going. Oh yeah, we needed a temple to Mithras, so let's do that. Right away. Get the nice temple to Mithras. Okay. Now we just need to earn some money a bit, because we're pretty low. How much money are we making? 141. Okay, that's pretty pretty good. Okay, so now is the big test, of course, to see whether my edits to the game files has actually done anything. Because, of course, all, olive oil is always the thing that's just, you know, it's, it's the most annoying resource. There's no way to boost it. Uh, I have actually seen in the list of uh, the game, of the code of the game, there is ways to boost it. Of, I don't really... Well, it must be possible, of course. That's what, all I'm trying to say here. Because you can give the game like a... You, you can, like, edit it in such a way that you add a uh, research to a commodity. Because there's an entire list of all the commodities in the game, like wood, uh, meat, uh, olive oil, you know. And then there's a whole list of thing of conditions, like how often it's consumed and all that type of stuff. And then eventually you can also and also you can like assign research, like which research affects which commodity. And whether it reduces the need or whether it increases the production. And so essentially I could give my research, uh, I could like assign a random research to, uh, to, uh, to uh, olive oil and then when I research it it reduces it by a certain amount of percentage Hail governor what would you like to research next research started okay we're gonna do banking okay actually I'm going to triple speeds for a bit because banking takes a while and I don't really want to build anything so I'm just gonna wait here for a bit so we're going to do banking then we're going to do faster research and once we have done faster research Um, we need to start up a trade route. So I'm going to research exploration. And the like. So yeah, we've got the, our first houses that actually have any olive oil, have some olive oil in them. So we can have a look at how long it takes before they have to replenish the olive oil. We do pretty well worshipping the gods in these parts. I think we should honour a few more though.
Okay, so he still only has one olive oil amphora, but it's still pretty filled up. There we go, he's getting married in the temple of... Uh, what's it called? Diana? And now we're going to have intercourse without a bed. So, right on the cool hard floor. <laughs> and he immediately goes back to the temple to ask for forgiveness or whatever. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yeah, you see, there that guy's moving, and this guy's moving too, and that guy's moving too. There we go. So we have twenty wood store. Yeah, we bought twenty-five. Let's see how if whether that is enough for now. Has been we have twenty-five. Hail, governor. What would you like to research? Next? How much is being taken away by everybody? Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. Yeah, we don't have... Uh, okay, we need to buy a bit more than 25. Because that guy... <laughs> now there's only 9 left. And then the other carpenter also needs to grab it. Uh, okay. And only 2 planks left. The boat yard maker doesn't really need a lot of planks, apparently. Or maybe he was... He knew that this guy was on his way. And then he's like, alright, well, I, will, I won't grab everything in one go. I'll just grab a little bit. Yeah, there we go. We've held our first class. I'll build another school. Out here somewhere. I guess we'll just do it there. It also gives a boost to this. More access to education. Numidian pirates have defeated a small section of our eastern fleet off Creta. What the hell are Numidians doing all the way out near Creta? Well, I guess they're pirates, so they don't really care. It doesn't really matter where they come from, just where they go. And whether their name is Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist. At least the kids are getting a good education here, eh? Well, that's in your hands, uh, Mr. Various Stagno. Since you are the person who's teaching them. I'm wondering, actually, whether school classes help also counts for the library or not. Because if it does, I just should I should really build libraries because there are three teachers in one library. What would you like to research next? I'm on forestry. Oh, they do go out here, but yeah, this one deplenish and uh, de deplenish diminish. I don't know. F less fish when they fish. <laughs> Which means, you know, trouble. I think the gladiators have finished their training. They'll be fighting soon. Okay, so I'm going to put the domuses. Yeah, where? Here? On this side? The other side? We then also need a date farm. We need some date farms out here. Uh, Thracians sinking through quicksand in the arena. <laughs> it's very quiet in the arena. Thracian versus Mermillo. There we go. Hey! Mermillo wins. Flawless victory. <laughs> yeah, he, he, what? Look at this. There are empty houses right here. Empty insulas. Now, woodcutters yield more wood. I don't have any woodcutters yet, but I needed that to go to carpentry. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to do the villas, uh, the domus, uh, the domus here. Because eventually the palaces all need to be in the area of this. Because otherwise they won't work. So yeah, the library is right next to them, so that's okay. The toga shop, they can reach that as well. 
And then after this, then they need the wine. So. Uh, we need this. I'm pretty sure that tiny islands won't really cause much trouble. Uh, yeah, we need to establish the trade route first. There you go. You are going to buy 25 wine. In that case, we'll also put this thing here. We might as well also put a granary, um, a warehouse there. We already had a granary. Now, the annoying thing is, if I build a fishery worker out here, then of course, they will... They, even though this is not connected to the same water area, they definitely will go here to grab a boat. So I would not, what I would have to do is I would have to demolish this thing, build a new one, build all the boats here, and then only will it work. Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? There we go. Now we're doing fine. Also, maybe a circus soon to get the entertainment rating like all the way up. Or a theater maybe first. Yeah, a theater. This theater will be able to stage dramatic plays once we have built an actor's school in our city. Let's get a theater in here. There we go. Uh, we also... Going to do this row as well. Because we need another row of shops out here. Butcher shop, tunic shop. I'll put two all presses down. You, can you even reach that? You cannot. So I will have to build another one of those here. There are some strange giant lizards from Egyptus in the city. Uh, we got the baker, we got a uh, fruit farm. Um, no, I don't know. It's way too far away. Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? Bit of a booze event to entertainment rating is always a good idea. Yeah, date farms. Get rid of all these empty houses. Sounds of it, there's some action in the arena. Whew. Hot, isn't it? Looks like they're working on a new trade ship. There are some strange giant lizards from Egyptus in the city. There. Eight others. Jupiter, king of the gods, I say. Oh, these people out here, yeah, of course. There's just enough room for that. I saw a strange huge bird in the city below. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, this is unoccupied, okay. Don't know what happened there, but... He died or something. Okay, so they're in a medium domus. They're lacking the fruit vendor out here. So I will build the fruit vendor. We'll also build a fruit farm. 
place have been researched. Uh, hang on. I'll put this this date farm perfectly fits in here. So we'll build that there. This road, I'll continue to there. Then I will build that. There we go. What the hell are you missing? Beds. Well, that's your own fault because I've got the woods and the other thing under control now, so... Research started. So yeah, I probably will need to ship the wine out. Oh, oh yeah, definitely have to stop the wine from going out as a ration. Obviously. I guess other palaces will go around here. But yeah, I was thinking of a circus as well. Alright, I'll also build another goat farm out here. Like they're working on a new trade ship. Oh, there's a... Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Another goat farm. Weaver's busy. Alright, they need to also walk very far in order to grab something. So let's make them walk a bit less far. I saw a strange huge bird in the city behind Get this guy in here. Um Ooh, by the sounds of it, there's some action in the arena. There, this could go there. Ooh, by the sounds of it, there's some action in the arena. There. Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? What does the ship skill even do? Oh, yes, increases speed. Another fine ship for the city. I wonder what they call this one. Yeah, all right. I already told them what they have to do. So, oof, pretty close on that, but it worked out. And then you should immediately go away. Oh no, you won't because everybody's on break. How many? Uh, 25 togas stored in the city. Alright, so I guess we will also build some of the... Some of the domus out here. Twenty. Fucking hell. So yeah, you see, these guys can grab their olives from over here now. The date farmer, or the date shop owner is uh, collecting the dates from the date farms. So that's also under control. Oh yeah, spa. They don't have a spa yet. So let's build one. Out here. Slave market's empty out there. What? Oh, this guy changed job. Hail, governor. What would you like to research next? Can you reach it? Yes, you can. Okay, so all the domus go in this area, general area, and then all the palaces. I'll build them in this area. How about that? More well, villas, and then upgrade them to palaces.
How many? Six. Two, three, four. Four. I can't fit, no, I can't fit a house in there. Gardening has been researched. Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? Research. Reduce floristry needs. Always useful. There we go, that guy's bought some recliners. Yeah, olive oil is pretty bad, but it won't be bad so soon. It won't be bad anymore because I've got massive amounts of olive oil production out here. But yeah, when I get palaces, I'll just spam all the palaces out here, like in one giant row. See, only the only thing they need is the barber. So I build like barber shops out there. Okay, so first thing what I need to do is yeah I need to re and right now I have need to have maximum civilization rating, which I don't have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a temple tomorrow. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get that civilization rating correct, and once that's correct, I'll just triple speed until I have the appropriate amount of. Uh, has been researched. Uh, until I have the appropriate amount of uh, this. Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? Research started. Okay. Religion is better. Entertainment is also still pretty good. We're gonna have our circus races soon. Okay, I will actually build our first barber here because the palaces are going to be out here, so they need to have access to a barber shop. And I'll put a dress uh, maker in here. Oh, come on. This should definitely be, yeah. Sounds like some in oh, one of the uh, Cherry 2 school t trainers or teachers or whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah, of course we don't really need any geese right now, so I'll just Medicine has been researched. allow the geese to be eaten as rations. Hail Governor, what would you like to research next? But once we get villas, I will lock it down so that people can start buying it. Yeah, I'll put uh, the barber shop out there. Okay, he also can't reach the flex farm. That's okay, I will build a flex farm here. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, I was about to say, these guys should have that fully under control now. We also need another carpenter out here. So I'd say you should have access to that. Okay, I need to increase the amount of wood that we buy again. Because a lot of wood's being shipped out here. Um I need you to stop to send that for right now actually. Because that's enough. Okay, they do actually collect the wheat from uh, the wheat farm out there. I 
I need another street cleaner. Yeah, it's a Thrace Universes in Mermillo. Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? Um. Yeah, well. Now, why the hell am I even doing that? Canceling research. What do I get? Can I unlock something else with that or not? No, that's completely pointless to me. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, that's research useful. Started. There we go. We have races on. Um, five and house people somewhere, but okay. I was looking, wanting to look at that. Okay, so we need to boost religion. Uh, we need to have more access to education. Oh, what? Oh yeah, because now we also don't have any Russians, and that's really upsetting them. Okay, we need. Uh, more access to schools, so I will build another Grammaticus here. Are what the hell are you doing? There must be a today. Okay, but I don't care. She's just being a weird ass person over there. Okay. Well, yeah, we need religion. So, another temple to Jupiter. Pottery has been researched. There we go, we've neutralized it now. And then another temple to Diana or something, like a small temple. There we go, now we're getting some city happiness back. Oh, uh... Resume this game. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, the cleanness of the street is bad because we probably had that glitch just now. Uh, fountains could be upgraded. Yeah, gardens and statues need a tiny boost. Not too much. Uh, the fucking assholes are being... Annoying again. There we go, now it's on plus one. Gardens is maxed out. Okay, we need statues maxed out. We need clear land. There we go, and then fountains. We aren't really going to build anything out here anyway, so we might as well pump this full with statues and fountains and the like. Glass working has been researched. Hail, Governor. What would you like to research next? Okay. Yeah, but we still need more religion. You'd like uh, one more temple to Mercury? Build a temple out here. We need clear land to site this structure. Also, I'll build another school out there. I'll also build another date farm out here. And I'll put the, the dates shop out here. Okay. That's happy. They're being happy again. Okay, it's only a minus negative three right now. Yeah, we just need to do some of the research to, to get that back. Oh. 
<laughs> Look at all that wine. <laughs> I'll put actually I'll actually put one more granary here. Because when I place all those palaces, then I can move that there. I was going to move it here originally, but I thought, nah. Let's just move it to the other area. It's way easier. Okay, now I'm just going now that this is now that the city happiness is fine, I'm going to research all the boosts to that. Um, now that we've got that, let's triple speed for a while until we get all those class, uh, school classes done with the extra schools that should help. Mysticism has been researched. Because then it'll go a bit faster. Hail governor, what would you like to research next? Research started. Sounds a bit of in the arena. Okay, access to education is fantastic. Yeah, we need more access to a library. Because we only have one library in this entire city. And that's not, also not going to be enough once all those palaces are out here. Permanent boost to happiness, that's always fantastic. You don't have. Oh, you've just you just can't reach that. Okay, well, I'm not really going to fix anything for you. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, you have breads. You have pretty much everything. I think the gladiators have finished their training. They'll be fighting soon. The music in this city certainly adds to its <laughs> Okay, we've almost got all the meetings in the Senate. We have 67 classes held. Would you like to research next? Let's research all those bonuses to the civil to the to a civilization rating to get this uh, fully under control. It's only a minus two, so it, it's over now. The worst is over. Okay, so we have all the meetings in the Senate. We just need to. And yeah, this is why I'm triple speeding. I just want to get this a bit further up because we only need 100 barber. Beard shaven, sh shaven, shaved. I mean, and only, and then you fail. So you know, you need to make sure that that doesn't happen. So we want these two to already be done, and then we'll make people go to the barber. I also really love how all those children go to those fruit farms all the time. There we go, and now they need all that stuff again. Or, now they need all that stuff, period. Okay, we can definitely build barbershops now. I really don't believe that it will increase so heavily that we won't be able to get uh, 20 classes done or whatever. Okay, so barber there, barber there, and then another one no, not here, because I can't put... It. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. There we go, she's going to the barber immediately. Okay, so now we need to... Oh yeah, we also need to do... That. Because... 
Oh, I really should have done that earlier, but whatever. Here you go. I'll put you there. And then we, of course, need another Domus. We need clear land to site this structure. So we'll upgrade another house to there. Oh, they have actually gone to the barber. But they need all the other stuff first. This guy also works all the way out there. There we go. You can also upgrade. Okay, so you need to go to the Senate. Buy a dress. Geese and flowers. Well, the geese will be kept over there. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. There's lots of geese uh, that have been brought in here. Okay, there we go. Someone has visited the Senate, apparently. Now it needs dresses, flowers and geese. Well, all of that should be available here. Yeah, there we go. She has bought flowers. And is anything interesting being brought in here? Bread. Well, it's required, but... It isn't anything of the new stuff. There we go, we're almost done with that. Okay, yeah. Plants are being... Okay, there we go. Slave has brought a dress. Then the woman has brought some flowers. Then they just need the geese. Well, they need to just go to that uh, granary over there. Hello, Governor. What would you like to research next? Research started. Someone told me in Egypt they worship those crocodile things like gods. There we go. Yeah, you just need the geese. And there we go. He has brought the geese. First palace. Oh yeah, we also probably need... No, you don't. We don't because that recliner thing is... Oh, we do need more than one. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to build all the palaces like in a row out here. You still have to upgrade. This guy is done. And so is this guy. Get those domus there. Okay, so we've got our first palace. Okay, they have gone to the Senate and they have brought in a dress. They just need the geese and the flowers. There we go, they've got the geese. And they need flowers from somewhere. Governor, what would you like to research? Next? Yeah, it really doesn't matter what I research now because I have everything. Yeah, okay, there we go. I've got my pretty much maximum civilization rating, almost. Yeah, this is fantastic now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Religion. I was going to build that uh, pantheon wonder, wasn't I? Governor, where shall this wonder be sighted? Kind of forgot how large it is. <laughs> The site for this great structure has been marked. 
However, it will take much time and stone before it is completed. Ah, yes, there we go. Yeah, see, I'd put increased by 100. He needs all the wood he grabs to build one bed because of the research that makes it two beds. But yeah, every time he has to like walk out there every single time. That's why these guys are so inefficient. Because the carpenter, who makes the regular beds, he makes a whole bunch of beds if he grabs wood only once. So he can make a lot more things with only one time wood, you know? So that's why everybody is lacking recliners, because they have to walk out to grab wood. They can only make one recliner with that, because of the research that turns into two. And yeah, then they have to go grab wood again. Everybody out here needs recliners. They also need glass and everything else, but that's just here. That's just a bit your own fault that you're not grabbing any of that. Well, as I said, it doesn't really matter that they are lacking this because every time when something is brought in, that this timer is resetting, so it should all be fine. Also, maybe we should build some more recliners like out here. Why the hell is this so bad? Oh, because, yeah, there are no race at the circus. So these, when these, all four, all four of these upgrades. Okay, they need only bread and bread's coming in. So when all four of these upgrades, we just need one more. So one more, excuse me, one more domus needs to buy recliner, essentially. That's all we need. You need only flowers. Okay, these these guys need bread. Bread's being brought in, so that's all good. They need flowers. And they're wanting to buy a recliner there. You don't need the recliner as much as the other people. Okay, there we go. Flowers are being brought in. You need everything, you need just the recliners. You need everything still. <laughs> Everybody is having issues with the recline. Oh, they can't get any woods, it's too far away. In that case, I'll put that there. Move your woods here. Well, not all, but a bit. There we go. And then these recliner people are going to start working so that they can provide for all these palaces. Oh yeah, there was nothing to research. I forgot. This guy's downgrading because he doesn't have any togas. Well, there are toga shops right here. Ah, oh, there we go. This guy has upgraded. Alright, come on, people. Get that dress from here. Yeah, there we go. This guy's finally bringing in some of that. There we go. One more. One more palace. Oh, they can both upgrade as well. Yeah, they all need olive, olive oil, but... Oh, there we go. This guy... Managed to get the olive oil. I was about to say, I did place this here, so there should be more olive oil production in the area. Actually, I will just do this again. A whole bunch of people switching jobs. Right, is he still is he still our richest person? 
No, he's not. This guy's richer. Alright. Yeah, there we go. We're done. There we go. Huh. Okay, so, wow, that was about uh, two and a half hours worth of uh, gameplay, but 20 Palace. 20 Palaces, but the map's called 20 Palace. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting map. Nice flat area to build in, which is in a lot of maps. Um, it's only the game develop the actual game developers that really didn't want you to have a load, uh, a load of areas to build in in the maps. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty interesting concept about the whole uh, the the barbers uh, going to the barber too often and then your game over. Makes it a bit more interesting rather than just because all the other none of the other ones had uh, none of the other economic missions had a, any failures other than you're not allowed to take any more loans than required and go bankrupt or you're gone. You know, they had no, that was the only fail mechanic here. But this is the first time that there actually was something else. Which is a pretty interesting, because that does actually require you to adapt your strategy a bit. Because you saw that it took a very long time until we got all those uh, classes in. School classes. So you need to kind of like upgrade all of your houses a bit. Because you need to have 20 palaces at some point. Then you have to wait a long time until you get the... Uh, uh, then you have to kind of like stop the chain. And don't build any barber shops anywhere so that nobody can upgrade further and go to the barber. In that time, you need to research the razor so that people need to go less to need, less people need to go to the barber anyway. And then you need to prepare yourself for the uh, for all the supplies to upgrade to a palace. And then also you need to make sure that uh, all the classes are pretty much done before you start building your first barber shop. So. Instead of just powering through to getting 20 palaces as fast as possible, you actually have to stop and think about it a bit. And that's actually very nicely done. So, I really um, I really like that. That was pretty nicely uh, thought. The, the, the map developer really thought about that, I guess. Or he just put it... Or, or he just randomly put that in and it happened to turn out perfectly or whatever. That would be quite funny. But yeah, in, in general, that was very nicely thought. That was... Alright, so now, now we are actually done with all the civilization, uh, with all the economic missions from single missions. So in the next episode, we are actually going to do some military missions again. And the next episode is going to be this one, War with Carthage. So I hope you Romans enjoyed the video. Click the like button if you did. Subscribe to join the Roman army and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, Romans. Walete!